we have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Fantastic Beasts and the Crimes of Grindelwald only make sense if you're just kidding Rowling. What? JK doesn't stand for just kidding? The fuck? That film breaks and bends more rules than Ferris Bueller on his fucking day off. But regardless of the various inconsistencies and the long, shitty-ass story about a baby dying on the Titanic that has nothing to do with anything, one of the things that also didn't make any sense was Grindelwald's whole motivation or goals. Which gets even crazier when you consider that they even match up with a real-life group who also contradict themselves. Okay, so Grindelwald preaches about accepting muggles, aka non-magic people for you shithead normies, and living together with them in peace. This is actually a major plot point because, spoilers, Queenie joins up with Grindelwald so that she can legally marry her muggle boyfriend, Jacob. So, if you're questioning just why is he the bad guy, hold on, it gets more confusing. Grindelwald preaches progressive ideologies and even warns about the incoming World War II, which I, I, I wrote here on the script as World War III. Fucking retard. Stupid ass past Krilla. Anyways, which seems to imply that he is against Nazis, right? But the thing is, what Grindelwald says and what Grindelwald does are two separate things, because he actively kills muggles and babies for his own gain. Well, he didn't actually kill the baby, he told his followers to do it because he was too pussy to do it himself, but that's still pretty fucking evil. So Grindelwald preaches against fascism, but uses fascist tactics. Sound familiar? Antifa is an Earth organization that is against fascism and Nazis. Big deal, right? Everyone's against that. Fuck those Nazi scumbag assholes trying to tell people how to live their lives and also torching people in a furnace. Yeesh. The problem is, is that they use violence in protests, showing up with weapons, smashing cars, and people's fucking faces in. They preach about love and acceptance and are for the rights of the LGBT, CDC, BBC, and minorities. Then they go out and beat up people for using free speech, something fascist Nazis do. Just like Grindelwald, they're extremely fucking hypocritical. So therefore, Grindelwald is just a thinly veiled allegory for Antifa. I'm pretty sure this wasn't intentional though. I, I think Rowling was just, just, just trying to write a compelling villain and wound up in crazy fucking street. You know, since Voldemort is in the modern day and clearly supposed to be Hitler, and Grindelwald is like Antifa nowadays but in the past, does that mean wizard history is just our history but like in reverse? That means the next guy after Voldemort will be, like, Napoleon Bonaparte or some shit. So there you have it. Grindelwald and Antifa are, like, the exact same fucking thing. Weirdly enough, the first thing I thought about when walking out of the theater after I saw that movie, outside of the fact that I was extremely fucking disappointed, beyond disbelief, was, was actually that. Like, I legit made that connection as soon as I left the fucking theater. Then I held on to that shit for, like, a year or two until now i get to get that out of my system so be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this and then follow me on instagram the picture thing is on there and then follow me on twitter it's at krilla killa so you can you can follow me there i post sometimes and yeah that's pretty much it i also hit the bell notification because youtube fucking hates my guts yeah, they don't like it when you cuss, apparently. They're a bunch of pussies. So, do that. And I'll see you next week. Same bat time. Or, same krill time, same krill channel.